Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Happy Friday. Uh, I know the days of the week seem to kind of uh, meld together right now as most of us are in quarantine, so it is definitely a weird time, but it is Friday. And um, to celebrate Friday, I am actually going to do a three-part series. This is a palette collection that I got after Christmas. Um, I bought it directly from Laura Geller's site. It is her Weekender collection. They are eye, face, and cheek palettes. And it came with three of them. So we've got Ferti Flirty Friday, which I could speak, um, Saturday Style, and then Sunday Fun Day. So I figured what a fun way to celebrate the weekend and also help myself and um, hopefully our viewers keep track of what day of the week it is since they're all kind of running together. And uh, we're gonna do one each day and uh, obviously release them on the day of the week that they are intended for. Seems like fun plan to me. Uh, if you don't know Laura Geller, she is a makeup artist who has created her own makeup line. She's been making makeup for like a good while now. I personally really like her. Um, when I was first getting introduced to makeup, my mom had uh, bought some of her stuff, I believe from QVC, because my mom used to buy from QVC all the time. And um, she, she was, you know, kind of going through her makeup with me and gave me some of like her old blushes and her old bronzers and a couple eyeshadows and some brushes. So I kind of have this like nostalgic love of Laura Geller's products, just because I think about like my mom kind of going through makeup with me and, and showing me like, you know, what she she had and what you know what she could give me to, to help me mold my own uh, makeup and of course you know that was when I was like 15 and I didn't really start getting into makeup until I was closer to like 18 or 19 but still uh, it definitely has an, a sense of nostalgia to me so um, I was really excited I picked up a a lot of really great deals from her after uh, Christmas I think I paid for this whole set which like I said came with three little palettes I believe I paid either 12 or $13 for this. Um, and I thought it was because they were discontinuing it, but I did check before I sat down to film today and they actually still have it on Laura Geller's website. And it currently, um, it's listed at $70 in value. I think that is definitely an over-exaggeration. I would never pay $70 for this kit, even though I think it's a really cute one. Um, but they have it currently listed at $20 uh, for all three palettes. And I think that's a great deal. So if you're looking to, uh, to pick it up and you like what you see, what we do with it for the next three videos, then it is still available on her website. And I believe if you sign up for her mailing list, you get like 15% off additionally. So definitely go check that out. But yeah, without any further ado, we are going to jump into Flirty Friday since it is Friday. It actually, I actually had the idea to uh, to do this just kind of on a whim. Um, so I, I picked out the three and I was like, I'm gonna do this because I felt like this particular palette had some really nice colors that matched the sweater I was wearing today. So I was like, cool, that'll be a good one to do like a first impressions of. And then I was like, wait a minute, today's Friday. What if we did it all weekend? So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm only going to use the palette and the shades that I'm gifted in this. Um, this one might be a little bit of a challenge for me because three of the uh, eyeshadow shades are shimmers. And you guys know that I prefer to have mainly mattes. Uh, but there are four eyeshadow shades. There is a really pretty highlighter and a really pretty blush. I may actually use the blush as well for an eyeshadow shade. Um, but yeah, I figured let's let's do something fun and unique and and themed because I love themed stuff. Uh, yeah, let's jump into this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I know I talk a lot, but I am pretty fun and I try and be you know pretty honest and enjoyable and and hopefully if you guys respond well to that, you consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you see every time we post content because we're, we're cool, so yeah. All right, so now we're going in with blush. Blush right here is called Lovesick. Really pretty color. I really think it matches my sweater very well. And that just was kind of a coincidence, but I'm going to do my darndest to uh, pick out outfits that I feel like will kind of match all of the, the, the uh, color schemes of the palettes that we're working with here. I know the whole idea is this is like, oh, we are having like a fun weekend where you're like out doing stuff. And like my whole fun weekend is like, I'm gonna sit at home and like make food and drink. So, but like, you know what? Honestly, I'm kind of enjoying quarantine in a lot of ways. We are still in the process of buying our house. So I wish we had our own house cause it would be nice to be in our own space. But I mean, it's been fun. My parents have been cool. Nikki's just been quarantined with us. So it's, it's worked out very well so far. Um, and I like being at home, so. I just miss restaurants. That's really all I miss <laughs> restaurants and then seeing my friends make sure that they're okay. But like, that's about it. Like the blush shade a lot. I think it's a really pretty, very subtle cheek shade. Does match my sweater very well. Blend it out just a little bit. 
And then we're gonna go in with this pretty highlighter shade, which is uh, Fields of Gold. It is very golden, but I like very bold highlighter, so I'm hoping it does have the same. Oh yeah, really pretty. I'm a huge fan of this. I was actually so excited to do this video that I like curled my hair and everything, which I mean, I'm, I've straightened my hair a couple days, but most of the time I just like put it in a bun and I'm like, I don't really care what my hair looks like on camera. What does it matter? Who's gonna see it besides everybody on the internet potentially? You'll love it. Okay, let me blend it out. So it's not just like a bunch of like really pigmented glitter. Yeah, I really like, I like the blush, but I really like the the highlighter. I'm a big fan of that. It's a really pretty color. All right, let's do the eyeshadow. Um, so because there's only four shades, it should be a relatively simple eyeshadow look, but um, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is do uh, Lovesick in Macrice. I'm gonna do pink powder to kind of blend it into my eye, my eye bone, my eyebrow bone. Why can't I speak today? Um, I'm probably gonna do Soft Topaz, which is the lightest shimmer shade they have as like a highlight under my brow bone and potentially an inner corner. And then I think just all over, I'm going to do Blooming Blush, which is their medium shade for the, the shimmers. And I'm gonna do like just a little bit of the Sangria sedu Seduction out here, which is also a shimmer shade. So this is Lovesick, that's the blush shade. And I'm going in and just doing like a nice kind of crease and oh, it's pretty. Oh, that looks really good. I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of using blushes as um, eyeshadows anyway, especially like if I'm trying to do just like a really quick, like I'm not doing my makeup fully. I'm just like, oh, I just wanna do a little bit on my eyes to give it some color. A lot of times I'll make my ma uh, my mascara. <laughs> I don't know why I brought up mascara. I had like a small uh, seizure or something. But uh, I will make my blush and my eyeshadow the same color so that way it has some kind of like consistency throughout my face. I'm a big fan of that aesthetic. I actually think I like this shade better as an eyeshadow than I do even as a blush. Cute, okay, like it. All right, we're going in with pink powder now and I'm just gonna clean up the top area. Oh, that's pretty too. It does a really great job of neutralizing all the edges of where I put my crease, which is my, my biggest thing for blending shades. I just want it to neutralize and make it look less harsh and make it look more natural. And this is doing a very nice job of this. I am really enjoying this so far. So now we are going to do uh, just a tiny touch, just a tiny little touch of the Sangria Seduction. And I think I'm actually gonna do that as my under eye color too. I don't normally do shimmers for my under eye color, but you know, we're working with mainly shimmers, so might as well today. Oh, really pretty. Very subtle. This is gonna be like a very like soft, sultry eye look, which I'm I'm into. I, I like that a lot. I do a lot of old colors, but I do really like just some neutral, soft toned stuff. I think, like I said, with what I'm wearing today, it's gonna work really well. Big fan. I did just like absolutely stab my eyeball with uh, some product. I'm kicking myself. I did not grab an eyeliner before I came in here. And I think actually just a little bit of eyeliner on the lower lash line would be really pretty but uh, I don't have it and I'm not going to get it. So we're just gonna work without it. All right, going back in with just a little bit more blush to darken up and even out the areas where I put in the shimmer. And now we are gonna go in with the blooming blush. So just for reference really quickly. So of course we've got, this is what I've used for my crease. This is what I used as the blending shade. That was the lower lash line and the outer corner. Uh, this is what we're going in with now and then that will be our brow bone highlight. So. If you guys have the palette or if you pick it up, that way you can kind of look at it and see what I'm doing here. I still think, cause originally I'd planned on just doing like all three palettes and pulling colors from all of them. Cause a lot of the colors would look really good with each other as well, which of course you can do that with, but this was just something I was like, well, look for fun. Why not? If it turns out horribly, who's gonna see it besides the internet? Which has kind of been my motto for every video we filmed since this started. All right, and finally, we're going in with Soft Topaz, which is that last light color. I'm gonna do just a little bit up here. I am not a huge fan normally of like all shimmer looks. I just, it's not my aesthetic. I love glitter, but I like to have just mattes in there to kind of neutralize everything and then highlight one or two shimmer shades. But I'm actually very happy with how this is looking right now. It's very soft. It could be very much like a, oh, I'm gonna go out and have like a nice little relaxed night or, oh, I'm gonna go, you know, to work or anything, honestly. It's a very neutral, soft look, which is kind of what I was hoping it was gonna be, so. All right, let me clean up any little fallout I might have. My face is excessively shimmery today because when I saw that it was all shimmer shades, I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna put some of my highlighter drops in my uh, foundation. So I just have like an all over glow. 
going on. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on and then we're gonna see how uh, it turns out as a final product. So here is the final look. I'm gonna take out my ears so you guys can see it since I uh, did fix my hair and everything today. So that is the final product. It is definitely a very soft, but like very flirty, cute, just day-to-day -day look. Um, I don't think that the glitter shades are too overwhelming, which I really like. Um, I did, uh, aside from, you know, having a, a mascara wand and a little bit of product enter my eyeball, I did think it was a relatively easy and simple process to get it all on there. And I'm very happy with it. So, I mean, really, I would say you're looking at Right now, if you purchase it, it's about six seventy-five a palette or whatever. Seems worth it to me. This is Flirty Friday. We'll get to see uh, Saturday Style and Sunday Fun Day in the coming days. Um, so definitely, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you can see how the rest of the palettes turn out. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're all staying safe and sane right now. I know it is a very crazy time. Just know that I'm sending positive vibes and love to everybody out there, especially if you're struggling with anything. Um, I know there's a lot going on, but uh, if you did enjoy the video, I'm glad you did. And I'm hopefully it brightened your day a little bit. And I just hope you guys all have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.